and I wanna thank you, Aditya, for um, suggesting this video. So either you're using stock or you're using a custom ROM, let's get started. So with the first method, we are going to flash any previously saved boot partitions, and with the second, download the latest firmware you're using, and then you're gonna need to flash the boot partitions using partition DL. So like always, press the power and volume minus button, and you'll see this countdown. And as soon as the screen turns off, you're gonna smash the up button, and you're gonna hear the connection and disconnection sound of. Um, Windows and what we're going to do is actually launch in QFIL Set the build type to flat build as always the storage type to FS and Actually, the, uh, um, it says please select an existing port because it didn't select automatically So the current port is COM18 Press OK I'm gonna search for... My question is why didn't they sort this list by name, like by label as you can see here? It's, it, ah, it's, it's a pain in the end. So right now I'm going to restart the device by pressing the power and volume minus button. Okay, I'm gonna hear the disconnection sound on my computer too. And as, soon as, and as soon as it's booting up, I'm gonna press the volume plus button to go to download mode. Open LG up. So we're gonna choose partition DL because we only need the boot A and boot B partition. And we're going to load the KDZ we are using. So because I'm using a ULM, you can use the latest AWM 30D. So I'm gonna open it. And as you can see, I'm gonna start the process, but not really starting it. Choose the the boot A and the boot boot B, and I'm gonna press OK. And uh, yeah, and the phone will actually restart, and you'll actually be able to use your smartphone. But the thing is, because the the modules are located into the data partition, and you can't really access them. On stock, what you'll need to do is boot your device. Actually, right now I'm going to get out of this thing. So yeah, um, we're going to save your data and then reset your device to get rid of the modules. But you're gonna, you're going to need fast boot, boot, and then drag and drop the cover. But right now, I can't really show it to you, but there's a couple of ways you can do it. Side load the magisk on installer it'll remove magisk and all the modules and second what you're going to what you can do is if you if you if your custom recovery has some sort of file manager you can navigate to the modules location i think that they're saved here and you're gonna delete them manually and third i don't know there's like more ways to do so but i think that these are this one are the simplest ones so Let's push this even further by subscribing to the channel and be an insider by following me on my social media and following me on my social networks. My name is Kensei and I'm gonna see you in the next video.